This video will show you how to transfer a character and teams from one map to another within single player using the mod Craftable Tribute Terminal. I'm using version 277 of Arc. Before you do anything else, you're going to need to back up your saved folder. I'll put the path to this in the description down below, but it is basically probably C drive for you and then program files x86 steam steam maps common arc and then you go to shoot a game and it's there saved as i say look below you'll see a path to it in the description so just copy and paste the um the whole saved folder to somewhere like your documents or your desktop and uh, just in case something does go wrong next you go into the game so I'm going to be moving a character and Thames from Ragnarok to the center. So the first thing then is to go into the Ragnarok map. Done, and here we are. Now, the, the mod, you can craft the, uh, the thing, the tribute thing to, that you want to use, or you can spawn it in. If you want to craft it, fine, but some of the materials are pretty hard to get early in the game, so um, I'm spawning mine in. You can see I've done it lots of times. Testing. So, having done that, I've got this thing in my inventory. I'll just drag it down to my quick bar there and place it just like you would anything else. Now, if I access the inventory, I'm going to creatures. And there's my creatures there, creature list, and nothing uploaded yet. If you do not see all of your creatures there, try asking them to follow you it might be because you are using groups and you only have one group selected something like that so um, you'll have to mess about with selected groups uh, make make sure this thing is close to your tames as well so if you've got some in another location in the map go there do it there and so on okay so anyway access the inventory of this thing I'm going to upload all of my character, all of my my characters, all of my teams. All right. Now, there is um, a function, a feature here to upload the survivor. I find that's both not necessary, and I haven't. I found it. It's not always reliable. But that's me. If you want to do that, you could try it. You can. So I'm having a look around. All my teams have gone. Do the same. And now to uh, move the character. If, just before I do, I'm going to exit to the main menu. Now I'm going to move this one to the island. And you can see I've already got a save game on the island. So I'm going to delete that save game. So it's completely empty. Now I'm going to quit the game and show you the next bit. So back to the saved folder. And if I want to move to the island, I'm going to, you just go to saved arcs local. It's the original map, so it's just in there. If I want to go to the center, it's in there. If I want to go to Ragnarok, it's there. So back to saved arcs local because I'm going to move to the island. Now, despite the fact that I have deleted the save game from within the game, you notice there are still these files here, and I need to remove those as well. Just manually delete them like that. There you go. So nothing in the folder for the saved game of the island. I'm going to go to the Ragnarok folder. And I'm going to select three files. One is Ragnarok.arc, local player dot arc profile second, and the other one uh, a number followed by arc tribe. So back to saved and saved arc circle. I'm just going to paste that in. Good. Now to go back to the game and into the island. Well, here we are. So if I go into now and I'm going to start what looks like to be a new game on the island and just play single player. Here you can see I've actually been asked to respawn, not to first create a new survivor. So I'm just going to select that one. Doesn't matter where you, where you go, but and uh, respawn. So here we are. I now have my my character, just look at her, she's level, there we are, level 15. Now I'm going to spawn in that item again. The, I'll put something in the description telling you exactly what you have to type in there for, for that thing. And um, 
Now I've got that thing in my, well, it's actually down here. It's gone to number seven. It seems to, to save that for some reason. So like that, I'll just go over here, access the infantry. And I'll download all of these. Yeah, they all don't poop as they arrive. I don't know why. I've had them laying eggs as well. If they sometimes, sometimes these things all appear and they're all kind of standing on top of each other. So it can be a good idea if you sort of um, spawn one. If spawn one, move it. Spawn one, move it, and do it like that because once you you've sort of got them stuck, um, they're stuck forever. It seems to me they're kind of inside each other. So anyway, that's that has moved my character and the Thames across from within to official maps. So back into Windows Explorer, I can now remove that file called Ragnarok.arc. It just keeps it tidy. I don't think it makes any difference to what works and what doesn't. Procedurally generated arcs are different. The files for those are kept in saved arcs local, then PG arcs, and you'll see a folder for each of your procedurally generated arcs. You would need to go through the same process as you saw me do on Ragnarok just now. But then you need to go into whatever the folder is, select those three files, which would be those. And then you can just copy them and put them into wherever you want to go. So if I'm putting one into the center, I can just paste the files into here. But then one last thing I have, would have to do, I'd have to go into local profiles, PG arcs, and whatever that map is called so red mountain wasn't it and go to player local data local data the arc profile copy it and put it in here overwriting anything that is already there then i can go into i don't know the center and i can import things in the same way moving characters and tames to a procedurally generated arc is all is again is a little bit more involved let me show you how to do that so into arc and create your procedurally generated arc i'm just going to do a random thing like that so give it a name like um uh, testing this thing call it what you like and host and generate your arc which of course will take a, a few minutes When you see this screen asking you to choose somewhere to spawn in, instead of doing that, just press escape, exit to main menu, and then exit the game. What you will see then, if you go into save darks local, PG arcs, you will see a folder called, well, there it is, testing this thing. If I go in there, there's one file. I'll delete that file, leaving the folder. So the next thing would be to go to where the files are ready for moving across. So let's say I'm moving Ragnarok to that um, uh, procedure generated place. So I go to Ragnarok, local player, and where's the other one? Arc tribe. And I can just copy those into Save Darks Local, PG Arcs, testing this thing, paste. Now, one thing would remain though, I would then need to go back to saved local profiles and I can copy the, pro the default profile that you normally see here and I need to put it in the folder for what in this case is called testing this thing and overwrite it. Now I can go into the testing this thing game and load the character I'm moving across like this so uh where is it testing this thing and it says no no game perfect so i can now just choose my zone whatever respawn and oh i mean i mean about bad place but um <laughs> but yeah okay i have spawned and i am ready to go and spawn in my um my uh tames uh, go like that i'll do this very quickly this is actually a different thing but there you get the idea so that's going to work like that i hope that helps you to understand 
even just the principles of what it is you have to do and that you're now able to move your own single player characters and times between your own maps. Have fun!